For those of you out there that are looking for the ultimate personal aircraft, look no further than the DA40NG. It is the pinnacle product of the DA40 lineup. The clean sheet design of the turn of the century Diamond DA40 changed the entire industry forever by creating the world's safest, most efficient airplane. The DA40NG variant of the DA40 has literally changed the 21st century in the same degree all over again. We'll highlight the things that make this airplane the fundamental new airplane of the DA40 line, and that represents a wholly new experience of a digital, modern general aviation platform. This plane is truly the most refined and advanced of all the DA-40s have ever been induced. Let's jump into some more of the details. Hey, before we go to the next section, come along with us on a journey back in time to see all the details and learn everything about the DA-40s from the early 2000s through the current models. Make sure you follow the link in the description below so you can get the full report on our website at Lifestyle Aviation. All right, here we are with the DA-40 NG cabin. There are so many things about this airplane variant that I absolutely love. Here's one of my first favorites that came out on the NG for us first. These reclining seats, holy smokes, they go almost flat. Well, obviously my pilot might not be doing that, but when you're on a long cross country, being able to lean back, maybe the passenger take a nap or even alternate and let the pilot take one, it's a really great feature. We got factory air conditioning finally. Built in right here to the console is the digital control panel. And the air conditioners are electric. So the engine has one dedicated alternator just for the air conditioner. So no more scoops, no more loss of power. Notice next, the FADEC control for the Austro engines is just a single lever. It's like a rheostat on a dimmer on a wall. All you're doing is telling the computers what power setting you'd like to have. Absolute magic experience to enjoy that over hot starts, cold starts, messing with mixture and prop, pumps, all that stuff. None of that is part of the DA40NG world at all. We basically just turn it on and turn the switch and the airplane starts literally every time. Notice over here, we now have engine on off switches as well as auto run up switches and our fuel pumps are over here. So basically, there's very little to manage on this airplane. Here's the big deal. This is the really big deal. Garmin came out, you remember, with the DA40 in 2004 as the launch customer with the G1000. They kept that system literally for almost 13, 14 years. It was 2016 to 17 that we got the NXI system. So all of the DA-40s that you see NG versions in the United States, except for just a few, all have the G1000 NXI system. So what's NXI? It sounds like it's just some little feature add-on. Actually, it's not. It's a complete redo with new silicon of the entire system module by module. So now what's really cool about the system is it's fast. It boots fast. It's usable fast. It zooms fast. Everything about it is like a fast computer. You know, when you got your old computer and you upgrade and you go, wow, this is so fast. That's the difference between a G1000 platform and an NXI. There's numerous new features built into NXI that we don't have time to go into here. And they're going to be adding more features to that platform. Whereas our G1000 platforms are great. They'll always do what they always did, but they're going to be stuck in time pretty much with no upgrades available. Great features you do wanna note though on the NXI are easier data loading. Data loading of the cards into the panel on the older system, kinda one of my least favorite things. You usually had to do both cards. Sometimes they wouldn't match. You'd have to go back and do them again. It worked, but it wasn't like spiffy and magic. G1000 NXI, totally different. We now have Flight Stream 510 where we can put our flight pans up to the panel. We can upload our data from our devices. Everything's a one-shot wonder. We don't have to have two data cards. Everything about NXI is what people expect from an airplane these days. So 
If you're trying to decide on the G1000 or NXI, let us give you a flight in both and you'll probably be able to make up your mind real quick. All right, it's time for the best part of the show. We're going to talk about the Austro AE300 jet fuel burning, FADEC computer controlled, aircraft engine specially designed for this application. However, in reality, it started out life as a Mercedes-Benz car engine. So liquid cooled, so no more watching temperatures in a climb. No more worried about shock cooling on the way down. The turbocharger makes it so that as we take off and go higher, the performance, the speed of the airplane actually goes faster. And we don't lose climb rate as we get up higher. So as you are, you know, seven, eight, nine thousand feet, uh, your climb rate stays the same. Anytime you have a diesel engine that's got the power pulses of a diesel, you're going to have a gearbox and you're going to use a lightweight composite prop. This is the standard. You also have coming out now on the DA40NG another Hartzell product available also on this airplane. Just to summarize, there's lots to learn about the Austro engines, the development of it, the performance of it, the automatic nature of it, the data and downloading, the ease of piloting and using it is just absolutely magic. If you've not experienced all that I just described, would highly recommend that you get an opportunity to fly any of these diamond airplanes with the Austro engines and your eyes will be open. It really is a different experience and it might be the right one that's perfect for your application. You remember we have the 50 gallon tanks in the DA40 XLS and XL? Well, that was a major advancement for that airplane. But guess what? The DA40 NG, the extended range tanks are back in the hole right here, 40 gallons, that's all it needs. We literally can take off and fly for five, maybe even six hours on only 40 gallons of fuel in this aircraft. It is really remarkable. All right, let's talk about wingspans. On the DA40 gas products, you have a beautiful flared out wing tip. That product is just under 40 feet in the 39 and a half range. With the DA40 NG though, we got these beautiful new winglets. This dropped it down into the 38 foot range. That's a big difference. So a standard 40 foot hanger don't even worry about it, the 40 NG is going to fit. What do you also get out of this? You get a shorter wingspan, better fit for the hangers, but you get better aerodynamic performance for the wing at that length. So not only is it cool looking, it's more performance, it makes it fit in more hangers, and it gives us a place to put our Jet A powered placards, which are very cool. Hey, before we go on to the next section, if you're enjoying what you're learning on this video, make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you'll get all our new content of which we're bringing out regularly. I'm leaning against the DA40. It's sitting up on gear that are the tallest gear we've ever had. Literally on the NG line, they came out with a version of this product called the DA40 Tundra. The Tundra model was specifically designed to take on rough fields and grass, and they redesigned everything about the undercarriage of the airplane to be taller, so they could put larger wheels and tires on it with special gravel guards, and they put vortex generators out on the tips to provide even slower controlled flight. So the Tundra was an amazing aircraft uh, concept, and one of the things that carried over to the regular DA-40NG was the taller gear. So now the DA40NG looks a little different because it sits up so tall. This is a good thing. It makes it a better ramp presence. It makes it a little easier to land actually because you're, it's more right where you expect the gear to be. But I will say this, if you're getting in and out of the DA40NG though, with its tall gear stance, make sure you're careful. This first step is higher. So you'll want to hold on until you get the feet on the ground and getting out. Another addition of that higher gear that changed everything for DA-40s was the tail sits much higher off the ground now and on the gas airplanes with some of their uh, lower gear sets, every once in a while somebody would do what we call a tail strike so that you'd actually kind of damage the tail a little bit and have to replace that plastic piece in the back. But I don't think we're going to have that problem at all on the 40NG because it sits up substantially higher. I want to also mention another internal modification where they did a reinforcement of the spar and the landing gear carry through so that they could raise the total takeoff weight 
to 2888 from 2646. This is a major percentage increase to the total weight carrying of the aircraft. Let's summarize what we've learned about the DA-40NG. It is the pinnacle product of the DA-40 lineup. It is the one with the FADEC controlled, jet fuel burning, turbocharged, liquid cooled Austro engine that literally does its own run up for you, thermostatically controls everything for you. Adding that with the NXI platform, with the digital autopilot, synthetic vision and precision approaches, literally this airplane feels more like the flight deck of a more advanced, larger airplane. If you're a flight school operator and you're looking for the ideal platform for single engine to twin engine to jet pathway for commercial pilots, the DA-40 with its Austro engine and its Austro engine twin partner and the 42 are the absolute ideal for doing commercial training to the airline level. I'm not saying that it will fit every application or give you everything for every client that will fit just perfectly. But if you're looking for that first airplane or a four place airplane or an entry level airplane or something that's so fun and economical to use, then definitely take a look at the 40NG. If you're looking at competitive products from let's say Cirrus, the SR20 is a good airplane. It's their entry level product that gets into a similar performance class. However, this airplane has more advanced engine technology, costs less, costs less to operate, and is actually more automated. Both are great airplanes, but I would certainly encourage anyone looking in that category to make sure to put the DA40NG on the shopping list to learn more about it. All our counselors here at Lifestyle Aviation, they're pilots, they're trained professionals that know about all these differences we've talked about today, and they're standing by to take you through a process of exploration and learning and share with you all this type of information, consult with you and learn what's the best application for you and help you reach your ultimate best aviation lifestyle.